here we are in Russia in the scenic Black Sea resort of Sochi, where this purpose-built track is described as one of the most impressive tracks on the Formula One calendar. Welcome to the Russian Grand Prix. The Russian Grand Prix. Here's the grid for today's race. We'll be starting shortly. I'm going to take a guess that we are starting third. In the top four. Yep, we're third. Knew it. But obviously behind the two Mercedes. What is up guys and welcome to my new video that I'm going to be bringing to you today. Basically, it is the Russian Grand Prix this weekend. I know I uploaded it a bit like I was supposed to upload this a few days ago, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. But literally, because now what I'm going to be doing today, throwback to 2014, the first Russian Grand Prix at the Sochi Otterodorm circuit in Russia. You may recall from the qualifying Valtteri Bottas, who I am right now, he was close to getting his first pole position. But unfortunately, he missed it out like in the last corner when his car drifted sideways a bit, making him lose a bit of time. So what we're going to try and do, unfortunately, I couldn't do the qualifying. It's just like a quick race mode, but I'm just going to try and make him win that race. So without further ado, let's begin this. See if you can achieve second or better. Right, second or better, but we want to be, we want to go for the win. Rosberg started at an angle, but it's lights out and away we go. We just gotta watch you into the first corner, don't want to go into Massa. Oh bloody flicking doodas. Okay, I am sandwiched. And then down to fourth, but we're gonna go past. Go past Hamilton and Massa in one corner, and we are up into second. Good start from. Good start here. I can tell with this circuit there is so many right-handers. I was watching. Um, I was watching a practice, but if I can remember what, like, watching like a review on the circuit. There's only 12 right-hand turns, and there's only about 6 left-hand turns. Which is unbelievable. And it's also the 4th, I think it's the 4th longest circuit on the F1 calendar, which is amazing. Right, so coming up now, we're going to catch up to Nico Rosberg. We're going to get him in the and we're going to try and take him on the inside. It's a bit risky, so we're going to have to try that again. So we can try and t we can try taking on the inside here. We can either try and take try and take a take over him now. Oh no, I've got a slide. No, I haven't. I haven't got a slide. I did a slide, but I haven't got a slide. <laughs> but going to the last corner of the first lap, and Mosberg currently leads the Russian Grand Prix. We've got us in second. Hamilton third. Ricardo, I think it's fourth. I can see a red ball that's fourth and less. That is Massa, I don't know. Go and wrap, check the race director. Thing and pause menu. I just wanted to get this race over and done with. Let's go. Catch up to you. We had a little, had a little, uh, had, had a little wobble earlier on. I like nearly going into that wall, which caused us to slide. Further ahead. We're still four tenths of a second behind Rosberg. But it was an absolute corner cutting. We're doing another one there, but that's not it. A corner cutting. Hmm. This is unusual from co masters because normally give me a warning if I cut a corner like that. Right, so we're going to go to sit free now. Rosberg's red light was flashing because he's not used using enough power, but we are going to take him on the inside, going to the outside, Rosberg had the inside, and we managed to overtake him, we've gone, gone off the track a bit, but it's okay, the, uh, the pass was clean, and we are in the lead. Coming up in 
to last two corners right now. Last corner. Are we going to post the fastest lap? All done a bit wide, but we still do. I'm not sure how Mercedes got on, but they've got DRS, so we might try and overtake me in this. In this uh, Rosberg's got his DRS open. Hamilton's got his DRS open. What are we going to do? We're going to keep them to the racing line, and we don't get overtook, which is perfect. That's the corner where Bottas and Raikkonen collided last year. It's weird how, like, because obviously with the Russian Grand Prix being this weekend, I still keep thinking, like, was it was it October last year when the Russian Grand Prix was held? I, I still keep thinking it's October because normally it's not normal to change the around because basically you swap Russia for Malaysia, which is a bit... It's a bit alright, like, because Malaysia have been, like, the weather troubles and everything, but it just feels completely weird. And we are doing well, the Mercedes are, are um, battling out, they're getting really close to each other, hopefully they won't have the same incident as what they did in Belgium two years ago, and the, pretty much the American Grand Prix last year, when Hamilton forced Rosberg wide. Coming into the last two corners now of the third lap. And uh, this is really good. Could we just keep it in? Yep, perfect. Rosberg's losing a bit of time. Oh, we're now 8 10 10. This isn't, this isn't usual. We're not. Excuse me. Because normally. Rosberg and Hamilton would be like miles ahead. 2014 season, but it's not normal because I mean, like, this is like the highest, like, the highest level. But I don't know why the Mercedes aren't catching up. But by the looks of it, that that um, that mission is going to be accomplished. So let's hope it is. Let's just keep this going. We're turning into here. Massa's getting on. I mean, he's yeah, he's still four. Get a brace of those position. Front attack. Massa's pulled behind. As their seconds separate you, there was a last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Hey, I'm waiting for it. Next time, it will be your final lap. I just said like that was our last stop, but I didn't have a pit stop. I don't understand. Cheeky look at that corner there. Uh, we're coming into the last few corners now as we are now going to enter the last lap of the Russian Grand Prix. Oh, 97 hundredths of a second slower. But, in, but we are now a second ahead of the Mercedes. This is unusual. So, by the looks of it, that mission is going to be accomplished and literally Bottas will get his first ever win. As a Formula One driver. <coughs> so for the outlook for tomorrow's Grand Prix, for the Grand Prix this weekend, with Vettel getting a five-place grid penalty for changing his gearbox that he suffered in the collision of lap one at the Chinese Grand Prix with Kimi Raikkonen. I think he'll recover from that and get a podium position. I might be wrong. I'm pretty much I'm I'm no expert over it, but I know for a fact that one of the Mercedes will get a podium unless they both unless they both have an issue, like when they did at Singapore and Hungary last year. It seems unlikely for that to happen. I think Rosberg will I think Rosberg will get the win. Even though Hamilton won the last even though Hamilton won the last two, right, like the last two Russian Grand Prix, Rosberg has won about, oh god, he's won about five or six in a row. 
six. You go one six over. Right, and we are coming now to the last corner, and Valtteri Bottas wins the Russian Grand Prix. And posting the fastest lap as well, 140.4. Brilliant drive by Bottas. And the two Mercedes of Rosberg and Hamilton follow up behind him. But it's Bottas, the man who wins the Grand Prix. He gets promoted, given the first place trophy by Vladimir Putin, the Russian president. And now they spray for the champagne. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you liked it please leave a like, if you didn't leave a dislike let me know why in the comments down below, and also leave a comment on like what you want me to do next, but there's more Formula 1, or GTA, FIFA, and there's Call of Duty Black Ops 3 as well, which I will be bringing very soon, I hope you guys see, I hope to see you guys again in the future with one of my videos, and see you later.